Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a quick video for what I hope is going to be a super cool salvage quilt block. Here's the deal. I just felt like doing something with salvages. I have various trays of salvages. These happen to be five inch salvages, so I'm going to go small. I'm going to use these, but I will tell you, you can make um, any size block you want well, up to the length of your selvages. If you have, um, like I sell a lot of nine and a half inch selvages. If you have those and you want to use them up, if you have a lot of them, uh, you could make a nine and a half inch block or nine inch block. I cut a piece of muslin five by five, since I'm going to be using five inch selvages. You don't need to have them all be five inch. Uh, you can start, like if you're making a big block, you can start with some, you can start with like a two inch, you know, some three inch, five inch, whatever. And uh, you'll see, you'll see what I mean as soon as we get going. I thought I would just sit here and use this as a foundation. You could sit at another table and use some iron-on fusible and just set up all your selvages, press them, and then come here and sew. Well, not here, you know what I mean. You're not coming to my house. <laughs> but I just thought I would work right here at my sewing machine. I haven't done this at all, I don't think, ever. I never know. So I have a two-inch square here. I love, love, love my two-inch squares. And I'm just going to stick this here on the corner. Okay. Now, since this is a two inch square, I am going to go ahead and use a two inch salvage. And I'm putting it here with the salvage edge on top of the raw edge of this piece. Now, I'm trying to think of a way to do this without having to take my needle off. And did I want clear thread? Yes, I will be changing my thread. Um, so I think when I stitch, I'm going to go here and then I think I'll stitch to here then lay down my next strip and come back. I'll show you. I just don't like having to, you know, take, um, you know, cut the thread, pull the thread, do all that stuff. Let me change to clear thread. I switched to clear. You don't need clear thread. You can use any color thread you want. And when I use the clear thread, it's a nylon thread. I'll have a link down below to something like this thread. Um, I still use regular thread in the bobbin. You might have to adjust the tension a little bit, but, you know, no need to use the clear thread. You know, it's a little bit more pricey, um, but not much, and it lasts forever. Um, but there's no need to have it on the back side. So I am going to just sew here at the edge of my selvage. And I went with clear just because sometimes, you know, we have um, selvages that don't have, um, I can't find one right now. Well, like this one, it's, you know, it's fuzzy, but there's no white. And I just felt like, you know, just letting the selvages all do their thing and not putting white lines everywhere. So I'm going to go here. And I use a straight stitch because that's not a raw edge. It won't unravel. Ravel? It won't fray. Let's go with that. Now, I'm going to be putting a strip this way. I should have showed you that. Let me turn it this way just so it makes sense. It's going to be like when we go round and round. How about I put like this? So this strip is going to go here, even to this one. But I want to get my needle up there. So here's my idea. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to just bring my needle here. Above and beyond. A little bit. Now, let me get rid of these two threads here that are in my way. Now I can lay this one down. Now the selvage is going on top of this stuff because this is raw edge. So selvage on that. And I'm just going up to that yellow block. And I can trim now or I can wait. And now I'm just going to sew coming down. I guess at this point it would be easiest. Yeah, I'll have to come off. But I kind of like that step that I did. 
Now let me show you what the point of this is. <laughs> I'm not trimming right up to the fabric. I'll do that after. Now see, that was a 5-inch selvage. So there's a nice little piece there that I can toss in with my 2-inch selvages. Now your selvages don't have to be the same this way. You can vary. But what we're going to do is we're just going to keep building. And it can be wonky. Now, let's save that for that side. Let's do... No, let's see. So, if I don't want to fill this up too fast, I can cover a lot of that yellow. So, the yellow was first and then this way. Now, we're going to go this way and then that way and then this way and then that way. So, I'm going to put this like this. Let me just trim that right here. And I'm going to sew that on. And you can see, I'm, I'm not leaving it way up here because I want to use, you know, up some selvages. So, like that. Now again, I'm going to turn and I'm going to go up here. Now I will take this guy, hmm, a lot of red there. Let's do something different. Is this long enough? It is. So we'll go with that. I'm not fussy about my selvages. They can be all white. They can be the same color as the fabric. They can be fuzzy. I'm not picky. All I like is to, you know, kind of get a different amount of colors. You know what I mean? Different colors. I'm going to actually pull that in a little bit. So I'm just going to lift and put my foot down there. So we're just going to work like that. I think it's kind of cool. How about we do one without words? I guess I'll just trim it a little bit. And again, I'm kind of going narrow so we can get more selvages in. Whoops! I'm going in the wrong direction. That's okay. There is no right or wrong. I just like to try to take, you know, the easiest way. <laughs> but now we'll just add this guy. And I want the circles. So we'll just do that. Oh, I just like it so much. And I might as well just go right off the edge. Um, okay, let's do another one here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the little buttons. Let's do this guy right here. Now, since my foundation is five inches, then I should have enough. So I'm going to do another one like this, and then I'll do another one there, and then I will finish with one more up here. I really would like to make a bigger block. Um, with this method at some point. Oh my goodness, I don't even remember these prints. Okay, so we're going to do one more now in this direction. And we'll do one more this way. Little fishies. What the heck? Oh, because... Oh, this is fooling me. I'm just going to trim this a little bit because that should fit yeah we're gonna go like that and then I'll be trimming this anyway yeah that's covering the foundation that's all I need and we are done let me go trim this Look at how cute that is. And that didn't even take up very many selvages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine selvages. And one was able to be a little two incher. <laughs> to trim this, what I did is I trimmed it from the back side. This was already trimmed to five inches. You know, you could do it a little bit wider a little bit bigger if you want like maybe five and a quarter 
you know, just in case there's something going on on an edge that you don't like, and then you can trim it down to five. But I just trimmed, and uh, we're good. All you want to do is make sure that when you're laying down your selvages that you're completely covering your foundation. I just think that that is super cute. Now, this corner could have been a little motif, a little teddy bear, a little bird, a little kitty, whatever. And you could make, you know, four of these and make a four patch. You could do it with all the squares in the center, four different colors, four different things. Or you can do it where, you know, the squares, two squares are pointing in and then on the other way, the, the, the diagonal, they're pointing out. That always makes like a diagonal thing going on. So this is very nice. Uh, it's a lightweight muslin. So this is a really cool little block. All right, I hope it gave you some ideas. Give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.